I actually came across the uh, Train Effective, um, the app, and so that just, I saw, saw some of the drills, um, some of the messages Nick was kind of trying to portray, um, and that, that just kind of kind of sparked the fire, I guess, that, that's already always really been inside me. Um, but I just needed a little bit, little bit of a booster, I guess. I told my dad that I really wanted to come out here. Just coming out here to the football capital of the world. Anything that you were skeptical about coming? Mean, not necessarily about the program. I was just running low on actual money at the time. Yeah. Um, and so when I, when, my, when I did my first down payment, I wasn't really sure if I'd have enough to pay the second payment. Yeah, I worked, um, I think it was like three 16 hour shifts. Yeah. Um, like all in back to back, just to kind of afford it. So. Yeah, I have a job as well. I work at a big hardware store kind of franchise in Australia, up Bunnings. Yeah. So I like heaps of shifts and just work. What part of your game do you want to see improve the most? Um, just pretty much like all of it, like mm -hmm. all the different aspects. Just wanted to improve that. One of my biggest problems was the consistency. Um, and I usually usually get into games. I'm like scared and not really confident in my abilities. Seeing stuff from the first couple days and looking back onto now, and I think it's like a lot better. Hey guys, don't find it, don't find it, don't find it, don't find it, don't find it. We had a lot of good training. It was basically three hours a day, um, about 20, 20 sessions total. Um, and I can definitely tell a huge difference from when I first came here to to where I am now in my football ability. My, my volleys have improved, my confidence, um, my just touch on the ball, um, awareness. We did a lot of awareness drills where we got to know what's going on behind us. We worked on a lot of first touch passing um, and just movement off the ball, which was really good. And I, I could definitely tell from Liam, um, his first touch passes were a lot more smoother than they were the first day we came. Keep in their mind what some of the drills that we do here so that when they go home, they can do it by themselves. Both of these guys, tactically, they feel like they're lucky, right? Mm, definitely. And so your positioning and your decision making. You have to anticipate whatever position you are. In, in the modern day football, I don't have to call your name and say, Hunter, before you start running. No, you always have to be alert. Uh, it's coming out to London. Um, it's definitely making me power through that become the player I'm meant to be. I want it to be into your body. That's what I want from you, okay? Yeah. Don't worry, even if I shout, that's the motivation I always give you. So definitely my confidence has improved. I've gotten a lot smarter on the ball. I, I realized that just the more I train, the more confident I get. I got to play football with John Moses. Um, he, he had a lot of good drills and a lot of good words of inspiration to uh, to tell us. Your work output was very good. The import to the game, into the training and whatsoever. It's good, you know, when you yeah, when you work with people that are willing to work, you know, with you. And you guys were you know, just those kind of people. Uh, we went to three Premier League games, got to explore the city. Uh, we got to visit Abbey Road, uh, go into Oxford Street, yeah, the London Bridge and the Tower Bridge. We got we got to explore that. So there's definitely a lot of 
time outside of training to basically explore the city. You've heard like about like other camps, like how they usually run 50 to 100 kids. And they got heaps of kids, they can't really focus on one person. They don't really have a chance to explain how you can do better. And in residence, you actually stay with the coaches. Yeah, so I mean, that's something a lot more different where if you're having trouble off the field as well, you can come to the coaches and, right. and talk to them. It's more like individual, you know, strengths and weaknesses and how to improve. That in itself is a lot different than, than most football camps. Like one on one training is definitely beneficial. Decided to start my season up with like a better as a better player. I've just worked hard during all of the trainings and seen drastic improvements. So would you guys ever like consider coming back in the future? Yeah definitely I'm planning on coming back sometime soon. Yeah I'm uh, thinking about coming back maybe next December. So. Yeah? Yeah. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Cody. <laughs> Until next time, stay effective! Hey Effective fam, uh, it's been about a month since I got back from the Effective house. Um, I actually sprained my ankle um, the first weekend back and so um, I haven't been playing that much for the past couple weeks. Uh, but I have had the good fortune of getting my highlight video done, sent out to a bunch of coaches, and I'm actually in the process of talking to uh, a bunch of Division One, Two, II, and Three coaches, and actively talking to about eight colleges right now. Um, and that definitely wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Train Effective. Um, and what what I have to say about Train Effective, if you want a camp that um, ob obviously it's going to cost a lot of money, but um, me personally, I think all that money was definitely worth it. Um, it wasn't just a camp; you got you got to work with a lot of good people. Um, a lot of the a lot of the camps, at least that I've gone to, um, you you get there and there's like 40, 50 to 100 guys there, and it's basically all just the same thing over and over again, not working individually on the actual player. Um, here you get to work with a good two to three guys uh, working solely on you, um, a good three hour training session each day. Um, and obviously it's in London and me personally, I, I love London. So so I, I, I definitely would uh, urge you guys to do that if, if that's something you, you guys are interested in, of course. But me, me personally, um, definitely, like it was obviously great experience I got to um, got to obviously in the weekends go to like Tottenham West Ham and Arsenal game uh, I got to explore the city got to go to um, on the London Eye it was just a great experience so until next time stay effective Just a couple of things I want to share with you. One, we've got this online football academy. It allows you to train like a pro whenever and wherever you are. Traineffective.com, check it out. Second thing, we've got the in-residence program. If you've ever wanted to come here to London, well, now's your chance. It's all there, Train Effective in Residence. Make sure you subscribe here. And last video here, that's it, I'm out. See you.